started as early as April last year when we picked on one young boy to run a business in selling water. There was already a problem of water and we had to support this young man by paying money at National Water. As I talk now, he makes about 100% of what he invests in buying water from National Water. It is a successful business entity and he's now expanded to selling services of sanitation where people come as they want to use the, the toilet, they pay to use the toilet and the guy is able to earn money. But also the community benefits from the services of the water and sanitation. Vijana Pua. Vijana Pua. Ndigiliza. Kolo Mlunji. The second area that we supported wa, was the area of building. These were young people who had finished training at uh, Chesubi Technical Institute. They had no jobs. But we realized that we, the community requires young, energetic builders. So we said, let us train these young people. Rather than looking for jobs, they would rather start their enterprise and do it in a professional way. The third area that we looked at was landscaping and gardening. These were young people who did not have regular businesses, they did have good market for their services and we mobilized them, trained them how to package their, what they are doing and also how to market it. As I talk, they have done a good job, they are always getting contracts from within Akrite and outside. The fourth one was in real estate management. These again are young people who did, some of them had studied real estate management at the university, but they had no jobs. And we thought training them in how to sell real estate, how to manage, how to present themselves was going to help them. And indeed it has helped them because they have been able to sell property and earn commission. The benefit we got from this, we got to express our talent or our skills we acquired from our studies to try to put them into practice. So we have benefited a lot. We have, we have dealt with a lot of people. We have dealt with Akrite, which is under Kakungu Estates, trying to express all our practical knowledge we have got. We have dealt with many Rotarians in the Rotary Club of Kajansi under the Vijana Po. We hope to do better in the future. And the last one was a group formed to run a business of fisheries. These are young people who had studied at the Fisheries Institute in TV and they had no jobs, but they wanted to do business in their area of training. And we've trained them and we have connected them to different Rotarians. And these Rotarians have provided market to these young people. They buy their fish, they engage them to establish fish ponds, so they are Enjoy. This project was one of the, our first projects that we came up with after being initiated into this fraternity. And now Rotary Vijana Power Fisheries was based on three dimensions. The first one was uh, fisheries, farm, fisheries farming, the second was fish marketing, and the third was uh, in consultancy services. Uh, we had to alliance with other Rotary Vijana Power fraternities, of which we engaged the builders, Rotary Vijana Power builders, to come and help us construct as we did the supervision, since we are experts and we knew what we are doing. Actually, I encourage the youth to, to always uh, have such initiatives and take them serious and ensure that they do them very well, be truthful, like the way we do it in the four tests of Rotary, where we say we need to be truthful. The more times you do something truthful, you always have customers that will always work with you. 
Vijana Power Program has shown me that a lot can be achieved with the youth if only we can support them.